show you a little bit the links too because it's interesting it's interesting yeah yeah uh super bruni link a little bit special i love the the details on it this part here normally on a standard bike is not full so it's one two pieces on this bike it's only one big pieces which is a little bit stiffer and the this link here i don't know if you can see at the bottom is also a bit different so we have a little bit less sensitivity but more progress progression for the for the big races so when we want to go a little bit fast it's really good and so that's it about the links actually i think they will come up with the kit on your 29er that you can put on your rear arm that allows you to switch it to a mullet bike so you can put a 27.5 wheel without fucking up the geometry so that's a pretty cool uh, update that's coming up soon um i have a seven speed cassette here pretty classic i don't know if you do, if you have that super efficient you don't need so much to worry with this ring in the front i don't know if you can see it's a 36 T, so T is for tooth teeth, 36 teeth. Uh, why 36? Because we don't need to pedal so much, so I decided to put a bigger ring this year. Um, I don't know to have maybe a better line with the with the chain too. So that's it. So let's speak a little bit about the wheels because they're so special on this bike, with a big one in the front and a small one in the back. Also aluminium, I don't know if you know this model from DT Swiss, EX471, so this one is pretty enduro, I would say, it's a light rim, so not super, like if you do a lot of raft tracks and stuff, it's pretty fragile, I would say, with a 240S hub. They are narrow wheels. I don't know if you if you like wide or narrow rims, but this one is 25 millimeters wide, so it's pretty narrow. It's pretty old school, I would say. But I love it because the way my tire sits on it makes it round, and the way it reacts on the ground is a little bit smoother, smoother than if my rim is wide and a bit squarey tire, where it will not move as nicely. I think. So that's why I ride with the narrow wheels. 32 spots in the back, 28 in the front for a bit of uh, flex. We have the Kush core in the back wheel only on this bike because we don't ride so much rough stuff uh, for training. So Kush core is this, this valve here with the, with the mousse inside so you protect your rim. It's really practical in the back so you don't kill a rim every day. And you save it uh, on race runs too. And I don't know if you noticed, but on my bike, I have my name, Super Bernie, written everywhere, all over it, on the grips, on the link, and on the pedals too, Crank Brothers, no, not this one actually, this one, Crank Brothers, Super Bernie Edition, what's my name again? Hey, so it's to remember what I'm called. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to speak today about is the saddle height. It's uh, 61 centimeters for me. It's a little bit higher than most of my friends or competitors because I like to use it in my legs to turn the bike a little bit around. And I don't know about you, but sometimes it can be hard on the legs. But this one, this saddle here, it comes a bit back down. So it's really comfortable for your inside of the legs. So you never get cut. And I think it's called... Phenom or something like this. I don't know exactly the name of this saddle, but it's from Specialized and I love it. And that's it. Welcome. Uh... We're finished and everyone is clapping our name. Can you hear it? Yeah, it feels like a race. Honestly, uh, when I hear this every night in France, we have at 8 p.m. Everyone is uh, supporting the medical staff and medical people by clapping and making noises and uh, tonight they are applo applo uh, applo applo applauding because this bike check was amazing too so i hope you liked it and i hope you will uh, maybe get inspired for your new parts or your new suspensions or whatever and if you have some questions you can drop them in the comments below and i will try to reply enjoy <laughs>